be waiting for you since now. No. What? What? You are still fasting now. Sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is chasing the both of you? Sir, that copper mic. What about copper mic? Sir, we saw him. We saw him at the back of the school with, with, with a student. We saw him with a student. This, he's carrying, he's touch, touching the gear. Yes, they're doing their mouth something like, mm. they're doing like this. He's putting mouth inside mouth. Are you both very sure of what you just said? We saw them with our two eyes. Yes, that plant thing got this, sir. And they're still there. Yes, they're there. I'll go to your classes. Okay, sir. Ah! Copper Mike! Sir? Good afternoon, sir. No, no, what is good about the afternoon? Copper Mike! Sir? No, just go ahead and tell me this is not Copper Mike that I'm seeing. No, no. Huh. Are you? Look at the way you lifted her as if you're lifting a trophy. Same students you should inculcate and instill discipline on. It is the person you brought behind the plantain plantation. No, it's. It's the devil, sir. Oh, the devil that is behind these two premises. The devil that is behind the plantain plantation. No, no, no. The devil that is behind that, that is making me do this. It's, 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 it's not my thing to do, sir. Come on, Mike. Sir? Is this how you are? No, go for it. A student you should instill discipline in. Oh. You're here taking on due advantage of her. Come on, Mike. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, sorry for yourself. Meet me in my office. Sir? And you? Get out of here! Will you get out? <laughs> See me in my office. Sir, sir. Don't you, Sammy? How dare you? Good afternoon, sir. What the heck did you do that for? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It, it's the devil. Did I hear you say the devil? Yes. If there's any devil anywhere, you are that devil. Is he? Ah, that, no, ah, me? No. It, it, it's that girl's fault. She's always disturbing me every time, every now and then. She's disturbing me. But mm, I promise it will never happen again. Never again. You know what? You come across to me as a playboy. So, no. I'm a very decent person. In fact, they used to call me Mr. Decent in those days. I don't want to talk about your indecent dressing. Because of the knowledge you have, which is what matters to me. But for you to think that I will accept that that girl lured you into having whatever you had with her over there is lies. I know her too well. Mike. Sounds. You were sent here to come and represent the uniform you're putting on. To serve as role model to the kids, to the students. Yes, sir. But here you are taking on due advantage of the people you should protect. People that should see you as room in there. Uh, she should be. Uh, I'm trying now. I don't want this to ever repeat itself again. Okay, sir. If this ever happened in this institution, you will know the other side of me. Get out of my office. Thank you, sir. Mary. <laughs> Who is beating you? Why are you crying? I'm in trouble. <laughs> what happened? Just calm down. Talk to me, Jerry. What's happened? I'm pregnant. Ah. Mary, sir. you're pregnant? Yes, sir. Ah, oh. Why? Little girl like you, you came to, to school to learn and you, you went and got pregnant. Why? Who is that stupid boy? See, 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 don't worry. We're going to meet him. 
Why would only just get impregnate you just like that? Does he not know that you're a student? Ah, you don't you don't you don't do that to students now. So what are you saying? You are responsible for the pregnancy. I've not been seeing any other guy. Like Mary, you, you mean me? So you're responsible. Responsible for, for this pregnancy? Yes, sir. Ah, Mary, you don't mess up. Ah, you don't mess up. I think say you be big girl. Ah, ah. I think say you should be take care of yourself. I can't be comfortable. I don't know see you say no, you know, soji at all at all. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand you know soji. I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand. You know soji, you don't understand. You know say your kids don't work. You know soji, you know still understand. See, yeah, what you happen to say, what you have in there cannot exist. Do you get me? This fetus in there, it cannot exist. So you have to remove it. Remove it? No, sir. I, I don't want to. I, I can't do this. Please. Please, sir. Maybe calm down. Ah, okay. Calm down. I'm trying to tell you what to do. Don't argue with me. Listen to me. I am a copper in this school, and you know that. And you are a student. So I don't want a dent on my image. That's number one. Secondly, your parents, what would they say? What would your family say? That I got you pregnant. A couple got you pregnant. See, this thing, we're going to remove it and that's fine, okay? Come in. <coughs> Sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, there is a big problem. A fat problem. A big one. What could that be? Sir, is that Copper? Copper Mike. Copper Mike has impregnated Mary, the student. What? Sir, it's not only that one. No. That Copper is forcing Mary to remove the baby. If you see arguments, no, it's small one. No. The argument is not. Are you very sure of what you just told me? Sir, what is the liver? You know, 100% sure, sir. Supposed to know us by now. If I invite the both of them here, will you be able to repeat what you just said to me? Sir, it's not like we, not, we cannot be able to repeat it though. We can't. But the problem is that that copper mic, that mic here, his eyes, his eyes no clear. As if I'm looking at that man, looking at his eyes, his eyes no clear. And another thing is dangerous. And another thing is that we don't want to create an enmity with anybody in this. You know, we are a good, we are a good student. We are a good student. You are a great informant. Though. You know, we would always update you. If you cannot repeat it before him, why are you telling me? The reason why we are telling you is because we have the school interest at heart. Yes. If not, you know us, we don't support him, especially me. We don't support him at all. Me, as a good student that I am, once I see any irregular movement, shut you deliver straight to your office. I will tell you, and you know, if you go there to confirm, he enter. Not true. If they commit abomination in your school, my house. How did they get involved in this? Stop shouting now. Clean your eye, Joe. You're a big girl. See, so what you're going to do now? You're going to walk straight into your class, pretend as if nothing happens. After school, I'll take you to where you're going to do the thing, and that's it. Do you understand me? Don't get scared. Okay, sir. Trust me. It's gonna be safe and you're gonna be fine. I need you in my office. Tell Mary that I want to see her. All right. Sir, you sent for me. Good afternoon, sir. Are you pregnant or not? I asked. Are you pregnant or not? Uh, sir, I'm actually talking to you. Are you pregnant or not? Yes, sir. I'm pregnant, sir. Now tell me. Who is responsible? I said who is responsible? Sir, he's responsible, sir. So you finally succeeded? In impregnating one of my students. Sir, he's the devil. I told you, he's the devil. I told you, if there's any devil anywhere, that devil is you. And you? Sir. 
I hope you still remember the rules and regulations of this school. That you cannot be pregnant and be a student without a father, without a husband. Yes, sir. Let me ask. Do you like him? Yes, I do. Would you like to marry him? Oh, how can you say you can marry me? Marry me how? How am I supposed to marry you? How? Where do I start from? Ah! So how am I supposed to marry her? Me, me, I don't have anything. I don't have nothing. You know where I stay. I'm even looking for a better apartment. My parents are in the north and, and we're we we all struggling. How am I supposed to marry this one? Okay, now that you don't want her to say that, what is your plan for her? Ah, I have no plan. No. Even my parents, they, they, they don't even have any plans for me. They are not struggling. No plans at all. Me, I'm, I'm, I've not yet started planning for 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 a bunch of, I, I, I don't even have plan plan for my. I have plan for myself, but the plan for myself is not even yet matured. So I cannot even be planning for him. Be planning for a bunch of. It, it's too much to plan. So it's too, this is too much to plan for. You have to marry her. The only way I would have thought otherwise is if she had said she doesn't love you or can't marry you. Don't you love him? Yes, I love you. I'm saying that you, you love me. Which kind of love be that one? What kind of love is that? Love? Do you know what love is? Ah! It's, 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 she's just a child. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't. She can't make any proper decision. That's why I, I was trying to see how I can decide for her so that things can work out perfectly. You say you know now. Oh, she just a little girl. She does not know anything. They're trying to make a good decisions for her by taking advantage of her. You know what? The journey to fatherhood has just begun. Take her home. So we can look into this matter now. I don't want to dwell on this any further, except you want me to press charges. Hey, charges. You say charges. You say charges. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Why are you saying this in there? Why are you telling him? What did I say that is what did I say that is wrong? You want to tell him that we, we can get married? Yes, obviously. Oh, how would you say that? Why would, why, 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 why would you say that? What is wrong with what I said? Like, didn't you tell me you love me? I love you for friendship, for dating, for enjoyment, for, for fun. That's it. Did I think that I want to get married? Look at me. Look at my face. Look at my hair. Does it look like I see? I'm serving. Does it look like I want to get married now? Oh. Wait, I, this, I don't understand. You, you, you promised me love. You told me you love me. You, you would like to spend the rest of your life with me. Isn't that what you said to me? Stop! What are you saying? Listen, listen, listen. The principal said that it's only when you decide that you will not marry me, that's where this issue can be resolved amicably. But I want to marry you. You are still saying it. You are still saying it. Mary, Mary, listen, listen. For the sake of peace to reign. Because if I marry you and put for house, it's going to be war. So it's better. Let's maintain peace now. Please, go back in there and tell him that you have made up your mind that over your dead body, that you cannot marry this copper. You're going to tell him that all. And when you talk to him, he's going to accept. And you come out, we're going to find a way to terminate this thing. So, you never loved me. You deceived me. Mary, how do you understand things? What's your understanding? How, how does your brain work? Like, does your brain work at all? Oh, a guy is telling you with sweet mouth that he loves you and just leave it like that. Yes, I... I, I See, I love you, okay? I love you, and that's the reason why I don't want us to get married. I want you to go inside there and tell him that you cannot marry me. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Sir, so, you, you, you were playing with my emotions. You were playing with my feelings, and I was busy. In love, falling in love with you, sir. I, I never knew. I was being deceived. 
Mary, I, I was not deceiving you. I don't understand. What do you mean by deception? Why did you sleep with me? Why did you sleep with me? Why did you did never you love me? me? Did you not sleep with me? Oh my god. Did you not sleep with me? You slept with me. I slept with you. We slept with each other. That's it. My life. You knew I was in school. Baby, ah, stop, stop. What is this now? Yeah. You you knew I was, you knew you loved me and you you made me go through this. 